All right, first things first, we're out here to Zurich, a uh, little celebrity shootout here. Uh, I know you uh, play golf a lot. What did you think of today? Oh, it's great. I mean, I think I've done this three out of the last four years, yeah. and it's for such a good foundation. And, you know, to, to be here with these kids is awesome. And um, I think they need to cut the holes a little wider. <laughs> we had trouble <laughs> today, but uh, it's a lot of fun. How often do you play golf? Uh, well, during the off season, I try and play as much as I can. But, you know, once the season rolls around, we're, it's all football. Uh, uh, speaking of football, um, I know you, this off season you agreed to a uh, kind of a restructured deal uh, with the Saints. Um, what, what, was, what was the kind of rationale behind that? And what are your kind of your goals going forward, I guess? Yeah, look, unfortunately, it wasn't, you know, my best year last year by any means. Um, but, you know, I'm a pro and my goal is to bounce back and, you know, get back to where I was the last few years before that. and. Um, I'm very grateful that the team wanted me back, and um, look, I'm really excited. Um, working really hard this offseason. There's a lot of new energy in the locker room right now, and pretty fired up to uh, hopefully get back up there. What's your approach when you have a season that wasn't up to your standards? Like, have you gone back and, and looked at the film, or worked with someone new, or just kind of tried to keep it? Safe? No, it's you know, it's not like I'm out there getting a new coach. It's just yeah. you know, kind of back to the drawing board. Try to spend the first couple months trying to figure kind of like diagnose what went wrong um and try to get a little stronger try to figure out um what i can improve on and then after that it's just kind of forget about it and get back to playing football um you know the last thing you want to do is overthink what happened prior you can't control everything and um you know we'll back to the drawing board figure out what went wrong and have a good year probably got to be some of that every off season though right like you probably always have to kind of refresh your mindset after. Yeah, I think it's a double-edged sword, you know, as pros, we're our worst enemy, our biggest critic, and, um, you know, I think, she was it 2017, I went 93%, and I still managed to find something I did wrong, right, so um, we try to improve every offseason, that's what the offseason's for, so um, we're doing the same this year. I know kickers have made comparisons to, to golf before, but, I mean, from, from your <laughs> How is, you know, whether it's putting or how can golf relate to football in your opinion? Yeah, I, I like the mental game of it, the repetitive, the repetitiveness, you know, in, in our industry, as specialists, punting, kicking, snapping, and as quarterbacks, it's about doing the same motion over and over again, and that's consistency. So uh, being out here, watching these pros play too, you see that their, their ability to basically do the same motion every single time is why there's professionals, and I think that's kind of exactly what the specialist position is. So. Yeah. It's cool to kind of watch these guys operate throughout the week, kind of dissect what they're doing too. And the relationship between punter and holder and kicker and golfer. Yeah, I mean, shoot, Blake and Zach are my caddies every Sunday, right, and every day during the week. So it's the same re same relationship. So uh, Good. Good. Cam hasn't been shy about what he wants the team to do in the draft. Do you have an opinion? Jeez, I... I need to mute Cam's Twitter. <laughs> tell you what, he's entertaining, that's for sure. And uh, if I can recall, I think he wants a D tackle. I'm not really sure. He said that once. <laughs> yeah, I think he's. I think I've got like 20 tweets a day from him on D tackles. But we got a look. We got a good D line, and Cam's one of the best in the league. So whatever Cam wants, give give it to the man. The best part is he said he was taking a Twitter break, and then he came back like two hours later. <laughs> yeah, I mean the guy's in Barcelona right now, and I know. I'm like, he says I'm taking a Twitter time. break. <laughs> I don't know, but hey, whatever he wants. Cool. Thanks, Thanks, man. Man. See y'all in a little bit.